You looked at the new poll that's out on the governor's race. There is a new poll out, Aaron and Jeff, and it is not good news for Republicans and Scott Jensen. KSTP Survey USA shows Governor Tim Walz leads Dr. Scott Jensen 51 to 33 percent, with 12 percent still undecided. Ever wondered what the well-dressed man wears next to his skin? That man there say, Excuse me, sir, would you mind, uh, oops, as you'd expect, jockey. Thank you, sir. It's really bad news for the Jensen team. Um, and also, um, there's uh, there was news at the end of the poll. And bad news for Republicans. Ba oh, bad news for Republicans. Tim Walls is winning in northeastern Minnesota, the Iron Range, areas that people thought were not going to be strong. He's winning in southern Minnesota agriculture. He's winning in the suburbs. He's winning on the issue of crime, which was the defining issue for the Republicans. And so if they can't win on crime, how are they going to win this election? What are the theories about why Dr. Jensen's numbers are down so much? Well, the top theory is that it is the abortion issue and all of those ads that we have all been seeing attacking him on the abortion issue. All of the previous polls in this... What overheated underwear feels like. All of the previous polls in this race were taken before Roe was reversed in late June. And those ads have hammered on the point that Scott Jensen did say earlier this year that if given the choice, he would ban abortions. I think it's fair to say selective truth-telling or massaging the truth, perhaps. You always feel completely at ease in White Jockey, the world's biggest selling underwear. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're going to have going to be a new world order out there. And we've got to lead it. And we've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it. About what? You're serious? You don't know. <laughs> Everybody knows you never go full retard. Take care, fisherman in a box. What do you mean? Yeah. Check it out. <laughs>